What is up guys? Welcome to another build video where in today's video, one of the most highly requested builds that were asked for was a popper build. And so I got this one for you guys. This one I'm super excited to show you about. And it's gonna take a little explaining to do, but let's not waste any time. Let's jump right on into it. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna make a center build. Doesn't matter what hand you make it. I typically like to make mine right-handed and then the jersey numbers don't really matter. From there, you're gonna jump over into the body settings. In the body settings, you're gonna want to go seven foot tall 241 pounds seven foot nine wingspan and it doesn't matter what the body shape is you can go with whatever you want to then when you jump into the attributes y'all look look at this build i want you guys to see the badge totals that you get on each of the categories 22 finishing 16 shooting 27 defensive and rebounding now you got to understand what's happening with this build this build can do everything except dribble the basketball. It can do anything that you want it to do. So if you're looking for the ability to have some big man contact dunks, well, with the 80 standing dunk, you get big man contact dunks. You want to be able to go to the post and be able to post up and work down in the block. You can do that with the Hall of Fame post technician. You got the dream shake that's there. Back down punisher and drop stepper are also on gold. You want to be able to dunk with this build. You get a gold limitless takeoff with an 86 driving dunk. You also get a silver posterizer, which I personally think is just as good, if not a little bit less than the gold posterizer, and then a silver rise up and fast twitch that's there. You could also get a silver finisher with this badge. So you're gonna go 80 close shot, 71 driving layup, 86 driving dunk, and then 80 on both the standing dunk and the post control. On the jump shooting, you're gonna go 83 ball, and you're gonna go 71 mid range, which will give you a total of 16 badges, which gives you access to tier three badges, which means once you hit rebirth, and you bump this up to 17 total, you can put on a gold corner specialist, a silver catch and shoot, a silver guard up, a gold claymore. You got silver blinders. Then you're gonna go to your playmaking side where you're gonna move your pass accuracy to a 66 and your ball handling is just naturally gonna go up with it. But that'll give you a couple of badges that you're gonna wanna use such as like vice grip and then break starter, maybe even quick first step just depending on what it is you choose to put your badges on. And then finally for the defensive side, you have 27 total. So this is what I want you to understand when it comes to the big. I think this is a little bit of sauce that is different from NBA 2K22. In 22, you wanted a high interior defense because it impacted a lot of the badges that are at hand. However, in NBA 2K23, look at the badges that are affected by interior defense. There's only Workhorse, which is kind of the equivalent to a Hustler badge, Post Lockdown, which unless you're playing against a big man build that has a lot of post cheese to his game, then you're really not gonna use this badge. And if you do, gold should be sufficient. And then finally, Brick Wall, but notice what Brick Wall is tied into. Brick Wall is also tied into your strength. I personally think the most important attribute for a big man, instead of the interior defense as being as a 99 overall, what you wanna have instead is you wanna max out your block because here's what you get. You get a chase down artist on Hall of Fame with an 88 block, but more importantly, the badge that you're gonna wanna have above everything else is you're gonna get an anchor badge. The anchor badge is gonna increase your ability to block shots and protect the rim at a high level. You can core badge this badge, and this will be a huge one that you're gonna use, especially if you are a popper build. Still can be elite on the defensive side. For the offensive rebounding, I went ahead and brought that down a little because I'm banking more on the rebound chaser uh, badge to activate on the offensive side. So you're gonna wanna take your defensive rebounding and put that at a 99, whereas your offensive rebounding is gonna be at an 80. That'll give you Hall of Fame rebound chaser and a Hall of Fame box out beast, which in this NBA 2K box out beast is a combined box and also the worm badge from NBA 2K22. Speed isn't as much of a factor this season, so I put the speed low on this one with 60 and 61 for the speed and acceleration respectively. I gave it a 74 strength, which will allow it to still be able to do post animations, and on top of that, you get a bronze bully badge. Vertical will be at a 66, and your stamina will be at a 90, and this is what you'll end up getting. I do a double box out wall when it comes to my primary takeovers. You can change both of these to sharp, especially considering if you're trying to make a popper build, you want to have that extra boost of a shooting ability, that would be a good thing to do. And let's see what this is gonna give us. This will give us, drum roll please. This will give us a George Mikan comparison. Interesting, two-way inside out score is what you're gonna be looking at for this build. Now we're actually gonna test this build so you guys can kind of get a look at what it does, what it's able to do, the whole nine yards. So I'm gonna jump in here and I'm gonna go ahead and activate a couple of the badges that we're gonna need. The second badge, Fearless Finisher. Two badge points total, you want that. The third thing you want, 
drop stepper. I'm actually gonna put drop stepper with five because that's gonna be an easy way for you to get a lot of drop. Y'all, post playmaking in 23, this is gonna be OP. And now that you have access to your tier three badges, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna core badge my Rise Up, which is gonna be the most expensive one that I have. I'm gonna take Posterizer and I'm gonna put Post, I'm gonna take Back Down Punisher and put that on for gold. I'm gonna take Posterizer and put that on for silver. You can either go Post Spin Technician or you can go Dream Shake. So I'm gonna put Dream Shake on just cause that's my personal preference. I'm gonna go put that on three and that's it, 22 finishing badges. When it comes to the shooting side of things, the only badge we care about down here is gonna be the Catch and Shoot and Corner Specialist. So let's go ahead and use some of these badges. You get four badges for blinders. Play more is OP this season. Max that out with five. And then finally, I like to do Amped. I actually think Amped is a really good badge. So I'm just gonna bronze Amped on this instance. So that's 10 of my badges that I have. Now I'm gonna go to my tier three badges because now that I've spent 10, I can access this. Now you can do Corner Specialist or you can do Catch and Shoot. In this instance, what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna add Corner Specialist to this because depending on how it is I play my twos or play threes or how it is I play in the Pro-Am, I'm gonna be shooting a lot of shots from the corner. So I'm gonna silver my Corner Specialist. And again, now once I get my four extra badges when I become a starter in my My Career Game Mode, I can add that to my total and that'll give me to my seventh point that I'll need to get a Gold Corner Specialist. Catch and Shoot, you definitely wanna have. I'm gonna go ahead and equip that as that's gonna give me a silver and that'll be all of my badges that I'll need. For the playmaking side, it doesn't really matter as much what you choose. I'm gonna core vice grip on this one. I'm gonna put break starter on silver and I'll just up my special delivery because the guard that I typically will play with in these instances, especially in two and threes, I can throw oops with them. So I'll just up my special, my special delivery on that. And then finally on the defense and rebounding side of things, this is where it gets really fun. So here's what I'm gonna do. Chase down artists, hall of fame, box out beast, Hall of Fame. Let me go down here to my tier three badges. And here's the first thing I'm looking at. Rebound Chaser, Hall of Fame. But I'm gonna core badge that one. Anchor, Hall of Fame. And I still have seven badges left to use. So my, what was in 2K22, my Box Out and my Worm is Hall of Fame. My Chase Down Artist, Hall of Famed. My Anchor and my Rebound Chaser, are both Hall of Fame. And because my Chase Down Artist, which is closely tied to my attribute points, is a 99, you will get a lot of Chase Down blocks if you time them right. I could put Interceptor on Bronze. I could put I could put Glove on Bronze. I could put Challenger on Bronze, which allows me a chance to contest shots at the three-point line. And if I'm only adding one badge point to shooting, that'll give me my Corner Specialist on Gold. When I get to my brick wall, all I need is two more points added to this to give me my silver brick wall. So in this instance, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take Interceptor off and I'm gonna take Challenger off and that'll go ahead and give me my my silver brick wall. But once I add those two extra badge points, that'll allow me the chance to have Challenger on bronze and Interceptor on bronze. So I'm gonna spend one badge point on shooting two badge points on defense and rebounding, and I can throw a badge point anywhere else. What I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna probably throw this one on my finishing. So that'll give me a total of 22 finishing badges, plus one when I become a starter, which will be 23, 16 shooting badges, plus one when I become a starter, which will be 17, six playmaking badges, and then 27 defense and rebounding badges, plus two when I become a starter, which will be 29. Yeah, man, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more of these kind of videos, make sure you guys pull up and hit that like button and the sub button down below. And if you're new, let me know where you're from. Who's your favorite team? I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Let me know also down below if there's any other build videos you guys want me to make. It's your boy, Coach Clay. Thank y'all for pulling up. I'm out, man. Peace.